What's up, yummies? What's good? Today I'm repping the Knicks. I got my Knicks sweatshirt on, and I'm making a simple meal, a ham and cheese sandwich. So my boyfriend wanted a ham and cheese sandwich, so I'm going to show y'all how I do it. So I'm going to take a grill pan, and I'm going to heat up the pan with some butter and oil. I have the oil heating up right now. It's hot enough. Um, on the pan, a grill pan. I just discovered this bread. I don't know if y'all are up on this. This is new. Sara Lee makes an artisan bread. It's whole wheat. It's like bakery bread. And I know part of it is marketing, but it's really good. The slices are thick and it makes a nice grilled sandwich. So first I take the bread and I place the bread on the grill. I got the ham. I got two types of cheese, Gouda cheese and American. The ham and the American cheese are both low sodium. I got some lettuce on the side to try to get him to eat some vegetables. Mustard. And <clears throat> so the bread is grilling. And while that's happening, I'm gonna put some bread, some butter on the other side of the slice. Flip it over. Because I'm going to grill the bread first. So we get a nice brown on each side. All right. It's real easy. Now I'm going to take the cheese first and put a slice of cheese on each slice of bread. Again, I'm using two types of cheese. Gouda, smoked Gouda, and also I'm using low sodium American cheese. I started using the boar's head low sodium cheese as well as the ham. It's actually better. Now also make sure your fire is on medium. You don't want it too hot, otherwise your food's gonna burn. All right, so. I'm working fast because it's bread and cheese and it'll burn. Then, so while it's been sitting on the grill, the cheese has started to melt. Now I drop the ham on top of it. I'm using two slices of ham per sandwich. And here's what I'm gonna do that's a little bit different. I'm gonna flip the sandwich over with the ham side down before I close the sandwiches up because I want the ham to cook a little bit. Alright? So I added more butter to the grill because you don't want it to burn. So now I'm gonna take this and flip it over. So this side cooked, I'm flipping it over. I'm flipping it over. I'm flipping it over so the ham will cook. Just for a few minutes, not long. I just want the ham to get a little bit cooked in the butter. So here's what the sandwiches look like so far. I just flipped it over. All right. So now, that's cooking a little bit. We're almost there. This is a quick, fast recipe, but it's good. All right, I'm gonna turn the flame up just a little bit because I want that ham to like sizzle a little bit. All right. And now I'm gonna turn it back over. Put some mustard right on the sandwich while it's hot. Right on top of the ham while it's hot. And now I'm gonna close the sandwiches up. Boom. We 
we are done. I'll let it sit on the grill for a few more seconds. But here's what your sandwiches look like done. All right. That's it. Simple. Ham and cheese on a grill pan. I showed you a little trick so that the inside of the sandwich is heated up. Here's the finished product, y'all. Delicious. Ooh. Look at that. See? So it's nicely grilled. Two types of cheeses, American cheese and smoked Gouda. I put a little bit of lettuce on here so he can get some salad in. I'm sure he's gonna enjoy this one. So that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed this quick, quick, quick tutorial. All right, I need to show y'all this sandwich up close. This is the ham and cheese with two types of cheese, smoked Gouda and white American. Boy's head with the artisanal Sara Lee bread and some mustard. And look at this. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. I like my sandwiches with mustard. But if you don't like mustard, you could put mayonnaise, whatever you want. Also, you can grill your bread with mayonnaise, but I like to do it with butter because I love butter. Mm. All right, y'all. Enjoy your day. And make sure every day is filled with yummy dishes. Peace.